Hello, it's Graham again, and in this final video, we're going to look at quantitative skills and numerical concepts. Now there are nine key quantitative skills. You will find these in the specification, but you'll also find them on screen. So, quantitative skill one, calculate, use and understand ratios, averages and fractions. Quantitative skill two is calculate, use and understand percentages and percentage changes. Quantitative skill three is construct and interpret a range of standard graphical forms whereas quantitative skill four is about interpreting index numbers. Quantitative skill five is the ability to calculate cost, revenue, profit, and break even, whereas quantitative skill six is about calculating investment appraisal outcomes and interpreting their results. Quantitative skill seven is interpreting values of price and income elasticity of demand. Quantitative skill eight is use and interpret quantitative and non-quantitative information in order to make decisions. And the final quantitative skill, quantitative skill nine, is interpret, apply and analyze information in written graphical and numerical forms. Now, some questions will directly assess quantitative skills and numerical concepts. For example, we can see a typical AQA A-level business question on screen. A business has non-current liabilities of £100,000 and a gearing ratio of 50%. It then takes out a long-term loan of £200,000 from the bank. Calculate the new gearing ratio after the additional long-term loan for marks. So this question not only assesses EO1, EO2, but also quantitative skill one and quantitative skill two. Alternatively, you may get a question that asks you to perform a calculation and then use the results of this calculation within your answer. Also, you can use quantitative skills and numerical concepts to simply support your arguments, perhaps by performing a calculation to strengthen the point you were making. This can lead to better application, analysis and evaluation. An important skill is the ability to pull data from a table, chart or graph and then use the data to perform a calculation and then use the result of the calculation within your answer. For example, so we can see a typical AQA level business question on screen. So you've got Appendix A and you've got some investment appraisal data on a proposed investment. Then the question asks you to use Appendix A to calculate the payback period and average rate of return of the investment. Based on your results and other information, recommend whether the business should make this investment justify your decision. So that's asking you to make a decision based on both quantitative and qualitative information. Given the importance of quantitative skills and numerical concepts, it's vital that you spend time practicing these. As, because as we've just seen, not only could you receive a direct question on them, but you can often strengthen your answer, your replication, your analysis and evaluation through the use of data. Now, I wanted to pick up on one point that examiner's reports frequently mention, which is percentage increases and decreases. So not only are percentage change calculations quite common, but you may also be able to perform a percentage increase or decrease using, for example, some data in the appendices of a case study to strengthen your answer. So make sure you are on top of how to calculate percentage increases and decreases. Also, you won't be given any formulas in the exam, so make sure you know these inside out. Now, if you go onto our YouTube channel, the Tutor to You YouTube channel, we have a variety of revision blasts and topic recaps on key quantitative skills and key numerical concepts. Our website, Tutor to You forward slash business, also contains a comprehensive set of study notes and topic videos on quantitative skills and numerical concepts. So again, you can watch these at your leisure and really familiarize yourself with the key quantitative skills and numerical concepts. The Tutor to You team are also running a series of 10 free live streams 
on core A-level topics, and there are 10 scheduled this term. You can see the dates and the times on screen. Some of those are key quantitative skills and numerical concepts based. Others are topic based. It will be great to see you take part of them. If you can't make them live, there will be a recording and that will be on our YouTube channel. We also have a range of resources that provide a really comprehensive collection of all the calculations that you may face in AQA A level business. For example, we've got an AQA A level business calculation practice book, which covers every possible quantitative skill and numerical concept and answers are provided. We've also got calculation practice cards. You can find these on our website, tutortoyou.net forward slash business. Let's finish off with a couple of simple calculation questions that test a couple of the quantitative skills. So the first one is a percentage increase question. So last year, Balti Towers, an Indian takeaway, delivered 1,800 meals. This year, the owner estimates that they will deliver 1,908 meals. Calculate the estimated percentage increase in deliveries. You have 30 seconds to complete that question. Okay, hopefully you've managed to have a go at that. If not, you can pause the video and have a little bit more time. Let's look at the answer. So the way to work it out is simply the difference divided by the original times 100, which in this case gives us an estimated percentage increase in deliveries of 6%. Okay, final one. Father Treads is a car tyre manufacturer located in County Durham. Their tyres retail for £60 each. The manufacturing cost per tyre is two-fifths of the selling price. Can you calculate the cost of manufacturing one tyre? Once again, you have 30 seconds. Okay, hopefully you've managed to have a go at that. You can again pause the video and unpause if you need more time. So the cost of manufacturing one tyre is £24. So two ways to do it, £60 divided by five times two to work out two-fifths, which is £24. Also, we could have recognised that two-fifths is actually 40%. So £60 times 0.4 gives us £24. And that concludes the final video from our getting started introduction to A-level business. And in this video, we've looked at quantitative skills and numerical concepts.